Welcome to the Expect Success Podcast, a presentation of georgebollock.com with your host, George Bollock. This podcast is for all things personal development. Don't expect success, prepare for it. Please welcome your host, George Bollock. Welcome to Expect Success at georgebollock.com. Now, in addition to listening to our podcast, you can also view the video format on YouTube at georgetube.com. James Glick is an American author and historian of science whose work has chronicled the cultural impact of modern technology. Recognized for his writing about complex subjects through the techniques of narrative nonfiction, he's been called one of the great science writers of all time. Today, James is going to talk to us about common character trait of geniuses. Listen to James. I'm tempted to say smart, creative people have no particularly different set of character traits than the rest of us except for being smart and creative, and those being character traits. And then on the other hand, I wrote a biography of Richard Feynman and a biography of Isaac Newton. Now there are two great scientific geniuses whose characters were in some superficial ways completely different. Isaac Newton was solitary, antisocial, I think unpleasant, um, bitter, fought with his friends as much as with his enemies. Richard Feynman was gregarious, funny, a great dancer, uh, loved women. Um, Isaac Newton, I believe, never had sex. Richard Feynman, I believe, had plenty. Um, so you can't generalize there. On the other hand, they were both, as I tried to get in their heads, understand their minds, the, the nature of their genius, I sort of felt I was seeing things that they had in common. And, and they were things that had to do with aloneness. Um, Newton was much more obviously alone than Feynman, but Feynman didn't particularly work well with others. Uh, he was known as a great teacher, but he wasn't a great teacher, I don't think, one-on-one. -on -one. I think he was a great lecturer. I think he was a great communicator. But when it came time to make the great discoveries of science, he was alone in his head. And now I'm talking, when I say he, I mean both Feynman and Newton. And this applies t also, I think, to the, the geniuses um, that I write about in the information, Charles Babbage, Alan Turing, Ada Byron. They all had the ability to concentrate with a sort of intensity that is um, hard for mortals like me to grasp, a kind of a passion for abstraction uh, that doesn't lend itself to easy communication, I don't think. That's awesome. Now, for more from James Click, simply search YouTube. I found him over on the Big Think channel, and you can find him on Twitter at James Glick. His bestseller book, Genius, is available in every format on Amazon.com. I'll include a link in the show notes. And remember, as the late great Jim Rohn used to say, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Today, you've been hanging out with James Glick. Keep up the momentum, subscribe to our newsletter, and never miss another episode. We'll catch you on the next show, and thanks a million for listening. See ya. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the Expect Success Podcast with your host, George Bollock. If you enjoyed today's podcast, please rate, subscribe, and review. And find more great content online at georgebollock.com and on Facebook and Twitter at George Bollock. We'll catch you next time. And remember, don't just expect success, prepare for it.